So in today's video we're going to be having a look at this mic which I use for all my streams, all my Skype calls and everything like that. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So as requested by you guys, you guys wanted to see this mic, you wanted to see the microphone that I use for my chill streams, all my live streams that I do on my channel, and this is it. This is the Florion BM800. I'm going to give you a few sound tests of the actual microphone, and then you can actually get, a, get an idea of what it actually sounds like, and I'm going to be giving disadvantages and advantages, pros and cons to why you should buy this mic. So this microphone, I consider it's a very, very good steal, but to be honest, it does have some drawbacks. Now if you're looking to do sort of like common is in audacity and stuff like that I would definitely not recommend this mic for you because if you want to buy an audio interface to actually get rid of all the static there is a lot of static that comes with this mic because it's a condenser microphone basically they pick up any sort of static and they don't cut out any static that actually appears so if you're looking for a mic for I don't know commentaries and stuff like that I definitely wouldn't go with this mic don't give it a go but if you're looking for something that you want to live stream with I would definitely give this mic a go because it actually in OBS if you actually use OBS it cuts out all the static which is pretty neat you can actually don't do anything with the mic all you have to do is sort the decibel levels out plug it into your computer and then you pretty much go in you pretty much go in for the stream the only thing that I would worry about with this mic is the fact that it is a condenser mic and that I would worry if this computer can't power your mic now the reason why this is is because this is, I'm not exactly sure what the voltage is on this I think I read it was something like 48 volts I might be wrong I'm probably completely wrong knowing me but to be honest the some computers, some laptops to some computers don't actually power this mic and you will have to get a, I think it's a 20 pound add-on called Phantom Power which will actually power the mic for you but that is one of the drawbacks of this mic. Another drawback is the fact that obviously there's a lot of static because it's a condenser microphone. So another drawback to this mic and I, I, it might seem like I'm actually labelling all the drawbacks in this mic but it's the fact that it's just very, very, like it's not the best build quality. Now you might be saying, wow, well, Avalanche, that looks really nice. I mean, if you take that cover filter off and I hold that up to the camera, you can see how nice that looks. It's a very clean finish. But if you actually unscrew the top, you can see all the components on the motherboard inside. And to be honest, it isn't the best build quality. But if you just stick this microphone filter on that um, came with the actual mic itself, which I'll go on to in a minute, it definitely looks professional in my opinion. So what comes in the package when you actually buy the mic? I got the mic itself. If I just take off here, you guys have already seen it. Uh, but this is just a standard uh, microphone basically. It's, it's basically like just a standard model and then you've obviously got the shock mount which is this like grey thing that you can attach onto a boom arm and that is what comes with the package. You get the microphone, you get the actual cable that it comes with, you get the microphone filter which is a pretty neat add-on and you also get the shock mount. Now I would suggest because this is ideal you need a boom arm. Now a boom arm th which is this thing right here it basically adjusts to whatever height you want it. I'd recommend that so so much I can't you can't really use this mic without a boom microphone so I'm gonna give a quick sound test of what this mic is actually like I'm gonna go ahead and open up audacity to show you guys what this mic is actually like so this is the sound test with the Florion BM800 obviously you're hearing a lot of static right now but this cuts out in OBS so you should be okay with that and I hope you guys are actually impressed with the quality obviously it's a little bit static but you can't really do anything about that so that was the sound test to be honest I think it's a really really good mic for the money I think 26 pounds is very very inexpensive in the UK for a sort of budget obviously if you wanted to go higher and get no static and you would need to get the blue snowball but to be honest I think this is a great mic for the budget so that is going to be the end of the video you guys requested it I did it it is amazing mic I can't recommend this enough I hope you guys enjoyed if this video was helpful definitely leave a like it would be very very much appreciated and if you're watching this in the future sometime I should be still doing chill streams and stuff like that live streams constantly so definitely look out for that and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Mm -hmm.